What's up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you six e-commerce trends you can jump on right now. Three of these trends will be in the drop shipping space and three of these trends will be in the print on demand space. In fact, I'm taking advantage of some of the print on demand trends I share in this video and I already have my graphic designer working on concepts for my next products. I'm Michael Christ and if you're struggling to find winning products to take your e-commerce game to the next level, you're going to love this video. Let's get started. In e-commerce, whether you're drop shipping products or doing print on demand, product research and finding your next winner is really tough. When I was first starting out, I was creating 10 or 20 designs a week. It was exhausting. After a while of spending a ton of money on ads with Facebook and not getting anything in return, I was getting really discouraged. But I thought, you know what? If other people are having success at this, I know that I can too. So I decided to dig down deep and reach far and see if I could find that winning product. I got really serious about product research. And within a few weeks, I found my first winning product that I could scale to six figures. As my good friend Chris Blair says, you're only one product away from major success. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some trends that you can hop on right now and hopefully find your first winning product too. And if you'd like to download any of the ads we cover in this video, including the ad copy and the images, as well as the targeting that I would use if I were running these ads, make sure you click the link in the description below. So before we get into it, make sure you like this video, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and let's dive right into it. All right, so what we're looking at here is AdSpy. AdSpy is a paid product research tool. If you're not comfortable using a paid product research tool, highly recommend you watch my free print on demand course because I have some free product research methods you can use inside of that course. However, everything you see in this video, the trends that we identify, the products we look at, you're gonna be able to not only download those ads at the end of this video and all of the ad copy and the targeting that I would recommend if I were selling those products, but you can also take the knowledge and apply it to your own business right now to try to find your first winning product. So even if you don't use AdSpy, you're gonna get a ton of value out of this video. So let me explain AdSpy real quick and how it works. So you have the option to actually run a search term on here and you can search in the ad text comments, landing page URL, or landing page text. This is super helpful. Um, you also have a bunch of different filtering options here. So you can choose site type, whether you want to do Facebook and Instagram, uh, gender, ages, daily likes, total likes. You can choose a media type, video or photo. You can choose when the ad was created, when it was last seen, uh, the networks the ad is running on. I typically don't mess with these options here. The affiliate ID, advertiser ID, uh, the technology, countries, language, and buttons. Usually when I'm doing my product research, I like to keep things simple as I always do. And this is kind of what I go for. So I wanna see ads that have run in the last two or three days at most. So I'm gonna go back to Saturday. I'd also like to see ads that are created within the last, I don't know, seven to 10 days. Keep in mind, I'm trying to find trends that are on their way up. I wanna get them before they peak. I wanna ride them up to make, to make that money. So I'm gonna to go to April 26th here through the fifth. So that's about a week and a half worth of ads. Um, next, I'm gonna change my country to the United States. This is just to filter out um, a lot of garbage. There's a ton of stuff on Facebook. I'm also gonna go language and I'm gonna choose English. Now, optionally, I could go to buttons and add shop now. That would show me just those like retail items people are selling on Facebook. I'm not gonna do that though because a lot of advertisers will run dark posts that don't have a shop now button. And I kinda wanna see those too, especially if they're trending. Next, I come to the sorting options here and I wanna sort by likes. Now this is gonna take all those results for the for any, any ad that's created in the last week and a half that was still running for the last three days and it's gonna sort it by which ones have the most likes. Now I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna spot some trends. All right, so the first product and trend that I found is this little indoor volleyball net kind of thing. And you can see it's allowed these people to take kind of this recreational game and they brought it inside their home. Here they're in kind of a small enclosed space in their backyard. This is really good, uh, especially right now with the quarantines and things like that going on. People are wanting physical activity, but they're not really going out. Bringing something like this into your home is good. Um, so this, is, this looks like a product that's definitely trending right now, 89,000 likes. 43,000 comments and 55,000 shares. Um, you can see here likes over time. Uh, let's see, on May 1st, this thing had less than 10,000 likes and it is now 
May 5th. So it's been four days and it's got 89,000 likes. So this thing is moving really quick. Uh, I can see the screenshot on the homepage here. The cost of the product is about 40 bucks. So I'm sure they have incredible margins on this product. So this is a really, really good one to go after right now. But so just broad, uh, high level from a trend perspective, um, any type of physical activity that you can bring inside and any kind of product that helps make that happen is definitely, definitely on trend right now. Next up, we have this little fan. It's a little wearable fan that you can put around your neck. It's supposed to keep you cool. So keep in mind, it's May right now. It's getting warmer all over the place. People are looking for these kind of practical options to keep themselves cool. Um, looks like it works well in the kitchen. Kitchen's a good place. The, the video actually is awesome because uh, you can see that how practical this thing is. It's showing it being used in a bunch of different contexts. Um, you can also see here on April 30th, there were a thousand likes. It is now May 4th, looks like the last time the data was pulled. There are 62,000 likes. This thing is clearly on a kind of viral trajectory here. Based on the landing page here, it looks like it's selling at $25 Canadian or $20 USD. So here's a good product. It's probably got good margins. I typically don't recommend doing electronics um, just because the, the quality is just, it's all over the place and you have to deal with customer refunds and it's just, it's no fun, especially when you're drop shipping. High level, you're looking at a product here. It's, it's on trend because of the seasonality of the product keeps people cool. You have a really good video that shows the practicality of this. So it's got broad appeal. So if you're going to apply this to your own business, try to find something similar that you can use. Next up, we've got this raised bed garden. So again, think of the, the season that we're in. It's, it's springtime. A lot of people are getting out. They're working in their gardens, their backyards, things like that. Plus uh, with the quarantines, there's rumors of food shortages. So people are planting their own food. Um, you can see here that this started out about a week ago at zero likes and we are at now at 40,000 likes. This thing is clearly going viral and the video is fantastic too. Uh, we've got 40,000 likes, 7,000 comments, 31,000 shares on this video. Big picture, once again, they're capitalizing on seasonality. They're capitalizing on the fact that it's springtime. People are usually working in their gardens anyway. This is a pretty practical device too. I don't know if you've ever seen an actual raised bed garden, but they're kind of a pain in the butt to build and maintain and things like that. And this looks like you 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 just, you literally open it up, you plop some dirt in it and you're, you're off to the races. So if you want to apply this to your own business, think of what season we're in, think of the types of activities that people are doing, think of the constraints that are placed on people right now because of the pandemic and try to find a product that fills all of those gaps. All right, so here's a print on demand product that's pretty cool. So it's a t-shirt, it says proud member of the class of 2020, we made history. Our year was cut short, but our dreams were not. So this is cool because it's May. It's right around graduation graduation time. And another thing is this is a very unique product. You're not going to find something like this in Walmart or Target or Amazon. You're probably not even going to be able to order something like this online at most of your major box retailers. This is a product that is speaks specifically to the times that we're in. So if you know somebody that's graduating right now with the quarantines going on and school got canceled, it's, it's very unusual circumstances. They're going to want uh, items, memorabilia to kind of remember this time. And this t-shirt is a great way to kind of fill that niche. So this t-shirt, as of about a week ago, had between six and 8,000 likes. And now it's got over 16,000 likes. On the ad itself, there are 16,000 likes, 700 comments, and 4,500 shares. Um, and it looks like Let's see what this thing is retailing at. It is a t-shirt, so it's probably somewhere around $20 range. Yep, so $19.95 for this t-shirt. So um, big picture, if you want to apply this to your own business, this graduation niche is pretty big. I've sold several thousand dollars worth of graduation products um, already in the run-up to May. Um, it's a great opportunity to kind of capitalize on the time that we're in. Graduation is, most people are graduated by the last week of May or the first week of June. So you have kind of a limited window here. You can jump on something like this. It'd be hot selling right out of the gate. All right, so this next product is kind of a tie-dye hoodie with paws. Um, paws is in like a dog paw on it. So it looks like paws is actually a brand for dog lovers. So the dog niche or the pet niche is gigantic. People love to buy stuff for their pets. They accessorize their pets all the time. They like to wear 
their pride for their pets on their bodies with necklaces and and you know you even see earrings with little dog paws on it i mean it's it's a huge 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 industry so it looks like these guys have their own brand called paws paws with a z and it looks like they have a t uh, a hoodie here it's tie-dye so the tie-dye part of the hoodie is kind of unique it's eye-catching you don't see a lot of tie-dye hoodies and then they also have kind of the dog paw on it they say in the ad that each one helps save a homeless dog okay so first of all do not put this kind of crap on your products or your ads unless you actually do it that is thievery and if you're not doing this seriously it's it's a disgusting practice in the highest order um, so now that I got that kind of disclaimer out of the way, if you are doing something like that and you have kind of a charity element to your product or your store, which I've used in the past for one of my other businesses, it can be really powerful. I mean, not only do you, is it a great way to give back to the communities and, and help a cause, but, uh, customers also, they like it too. They, they, they develop a loyalty with it. They like to kind of join these kinds of movements. They like to know that their money is also not only buying them an item, but it's also going on to help a cause. So if you can do it, I think it's a it's a great kind of you know way to add to the value and the quality of your brand. So big picture here, what are these people doing? So they first of all, they have this tie-dye hoodie, which I think is super unique. You can try tie-dye on a bunch of different stuff. Keep in mind seasonality. We're moving into warmer months, so I'd probably be getting away from hoodies and more into like maybe tie-dye t-shirts and things like that but i haven't seen a ton of tie-dye print-on-demand products sold so it might be a really um, kind of unique product that you can capitalize on now while it's still in its infancy stages in addition to that they're clearly appealing to their brand you've got the dog paw going on there's no question at all um, who this product is speaking to so if you want to apply something like this to your own business the biggest takeaways i think are capitalize on kind of a new or a trending product again i haven't seen a lot of tie-dye stuff out there and then when it comes to the actual design make sure it's very clear who you're appealing to who the buyer is you want that to really reach out and almost slap people in the face you want it to immediately identify its target buyer just by the look and the feel of the design Okay, so for our last product here, I wanna talk about masks. So face masks are becoming super popular right now. There's a ton of print-on-demand companies adding face masks to their product line. Now, a uh, quick disclaimer. I've heard repeatedly that Facebook is gonna ban advertisers selling masks. I've heard this over and over and over again. I have yet to see it actually happen. Um, I do know that it's kind of against their advertising policies, and sometimes those aren't always clear, right? There's some gray area in there. Um, so this is definitely one that you need to advertise at your own risk. Personally, I'm not advertising masks because I do not want to risk my ad account, but I'm seeing them everywhere. So I felt like I needed to address it. So you can see that this mask here, it says love, peace, and softball. So it's capitalizing kind of on the softball trend in the print on demand space. Keep in mind seasonality here. You have folks that probably are wanting to get outside, practice their you know favorite recreational activities, and they can't do that. Um, so this is this is kind of a great uh, design that's probably tapping into that love a little bit. And you're going to see all kinds of masks if you spend any time doing product research at all. I mean, I've seen masks that are patriotic. I've seen masks that have nurse stuff on there. I've seen masks that's kind of got like the Darth Vader thing going on right right here. So it looks like Darth Vader. I've seen dog, like a dog face on the mask. So it, it looks funny when you look at it. I mean, there's people are trying to find their way with this product right now so this product here it doesn't give me the uh burn chart here on how popular it is however it's got 7,000 likes 2500 comments and 3,000 shares one thing i did find interesting about this i went and looked at the product page so it's retail at 14.95 i bet you the cost out the door on a mask like this is between five and seven dollars if you look right here at the top they have a disclaimer they say our masks are great for uh i'm sorry our masks offer great everyday basic protection but please note these are not n95 masks for cdc guidance on fabric fabric masks click here so I actually have kind of a disclaimer on here telling people hey these are not medical grade masks they're just standard cloth masks if you're going to sell a mask highly recommend you do something like that too you do not want to deceive or mislead people into thinking they have more protection than you're actually giving them plus a disclaimer like this may actually save them uh, from facebook a little bit because Facebook, one of the things that they're, they're really going to harp, harp on and is that uh, if you advertise at all that they're medical grade, that they're not even going to give you a chance. You're, you're just going to get banned. So the fact that they have this disclaimer on here, maybe that's kind of helping them out a little bit and preventing them from, from feeling that ban hammer.
All right, thanks so much for watching this video. Now I've got a bunch of free stuff for you. If you'd like to download the ads that we talked about in this video, see the ad copies, and then also the targeting that I would use if I were promoting these products, please click the link in the description below. Plus, I've got a free Facebook group called Campaign Envy that you can join. There are a lot of other top sellers in there, people doing five and six figures a day in that group. It's a great place to rub shoulders with other top sellers. Make sure you click the link in the description below and join the group. Now I have a question for you. What trend or top selling product are you gonna jump on this season? Leave me a comment below. Before you leave, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, click on that notification bell so you never miss a video, and I'll see you in the next one.